What's up guys? So these pet peeves are kind of more for like shy kids or maybe even if you were ever the new kid in school. But who knows, even if you were never shy or the new kid, maybe you've still experienced and can relate to these. So let's get to it. This is school pet peeves. Number one, when the teacher says, okay, now everyone get a partner. When you don't know anyone, this can be a super stressful situation. Like, you know when you lean too far back in your chair and you get that mini heart attack because you feel like you're about to fall? That's what I would sometimes get when I heard the words, okay, now everyone get a partner. It was stressful because everyone would actually get a partner, but then you would just wind up being alone, and to make it even worse, the teacher would then say, okay, so if you don't have a partner, raise your hand. It's like, alright, Mr. Teacher, let me just raise my hand and show the whole class that I don't have any friends. Like, I understand why the teacher does this, but I think there's a better way. I remember one of my teachers would tell us that we could work alone, or as he called it, work solo dolo, if we wanted to. This seriously made me super happy, because I didn't have to worry about finding a partner, and no one really even cared. Number 2. When people ask, why are you so quiet? I remember being asked this from time to time, and I would usually just answer the same way. I would kinda just like shrug my shoulders and just say, I don't know. This was kinda annoying because we're shy and we don't really know anyone, so that's why we're quiet. One time I was at a bonfire and we were all in a circle around the fire except for one kid. He was kinda just sitting by himself, not really talking to anyone. So then one of the girls went up to him and asked, hey, why are you so quiet? And he pretty much just did the same thing as I do, just kind of shrugged his shoulders and said, I don't know. So then a few minutes later, I started asking him good conversation starter questions, like, hey, what school do you go to, what grade he's in, and stuff like that. Well, turns out he was just about to graduate high school, and he told me that he was actually going to join the Navy. So then he joined us around the bonfire and ended up being a really cool dude. You see, asking someone, why are you so quiet, only makes it worse. Ask them some conversation starter questions, because believe me, once they can get comfortable around you, they can end up being some pretty cool people. Finally, number three, when the teacher takes attendance. So again, this might be only something that shy people can relate to. But when the teacher takes attendance, we sometimes start to worry. When the teacher starts going down the list of names, we start practicing in our heads how we're going to say here over and over again. Like by the time the teacher gets to our name, we've already practiced at least 10 different ways on how to say it. Am I going to say it like here or here or maybe even present? Pretty much we overthink the whole thing. And it's even worse if you kind of have a weird name, especially with substitute teachers, because they'll usually pronounce your name wrong, then you gotta explain your name and why it has a weird spelling, and by now you've already drawn way too much attention to yourself, so all you want is for them to just go on to the next person. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and maybe if you can relate, now you know you're not the only one who's experienced these things before. So thank you guys for watching and let me know if you would want to see more pet peeves, like a part 2. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.